What's up, everybody? Go Burns, climbing back upon Mount Soapbox for another rant. Today, we are ranting about licensed music regards to Mafia, the city of Lost Heaven. FYI, my Mafia fans, we are taking this week off from the Let's Play because I believe there's going to be a Grand Theft Auto content dropping on Friday. So we're going to take a week off. Sorry about that in advance. But episode 12 of Mafia, the city of Lost Heaven will be posted the following Friday, November 3rd, I believe. I think that is correct. Yes, Friday, November 3rd, 2017, we'll be back with Let's Playing Mafia, the City of Lost Heaven with episode 12, FYI. So a few days ago, it was announced via Twitter that Mafia, the City of Lost Heaven, was now available via GOG.com. And this excited a lot of people in the Mafia community that have been really wanting to play the original Mafia game because up until now, it's been very difficult to find a copy. In fact, I had to go on Amazon and pay $70 just for my copy. But thanks to GOG.com, you can drop $15 for Mafia to play on PC. And the requirements are very minimum because this is a 15-year-old game. It's only two gigs, which is basically nothing nowadays. And uh, it works on Windows, XP, Vista, Windows 7, 8, and 10. So obviously most computers in 2017 could easily run Mafia, the City of Lost Heaven. But there was something I missed. And I do apologize for missing this. It was a small thing, but it's become kind of a big deal. The fact is, when this news broke uh, Thursday, I was less than an hour away from my third and final South Park live stream, which went on for like eight hours. So I was trying to get this video, you know, edited, put together, and uploaded before my stream started. And it's just a small thing I missed, but it's something that a lot of you did not miss. The re-release of Mafia has edited soundtrack and does not include any licensed music. Now, what is licensed music, you may ask? Well, according to Wikipedia, music licensing is the licensed use of copyrighted music. Music licensing is intended to ensure that the owners of copyrights on musical works are compensated for certain uses of their work. So we're going to go over to my Mafia on GOG.com video. Read over some of your comments regarding how you felt about this news, which obviously went right under the radar for me Thursday. Hopefully, you all will forgive me and I will not end up sleeping with the fishes over that ordeal. First off, let us go to Oliver Queen, who clearly is not the Green Arrow, even though he has like a, a Photoshop image of him wearing the Green Arrow outfit. Fake news, right? <laughs> I don't have this uh, version, but I think this will be a shitty version because it doesn't have the licensed music. And the music of this game not only is amazing, but is it great to create the atmosphere. Maybe I'll buy it on sale, but for now I will keep my piracy version. Uh-oh, Mary Queen, you just put that out there, and that could affect your uh, re-election bid if you want to be mayor for another term of Star City. I'm just saying. <laughs> Moving on. All right, so next we go to uh, Overlord. Overlord says this, I just found this a few hours ago. However, someone said it didn't come with the licensed music. That kind of ruins it for me. And uh, Platinus basically had the same uh, concern as well. The re-release of Mafia has an edited soundtrack and that does not include any licensed music. And he says he adores the game. It was his second game after Gothic, but he really doesn't want to play it without the good old 1930s music. And so Ben Klein, who also has the game, uh, basically clarified a few things. Yeah, it's the licensed music, like the, the music from the 1930s. Those songs are not in the GOG version of Mafia, the City of Lost Seven. However, the score still is, like the opening theme still there. The music from certain like intense missions, that's still there. The score music is still in the $15 US version of Mafia, the City of Lost Heaven on GOG.com. Some people may have thought that that meant that all the music was taken out of the game, but it's not. I know some of you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Some of you may not, but some of the music was taken out, the 1930s music, the score of Mafia, that's still there. So just to clarify that right now. 
But at the same time, I do sympathize with everyone that has an issue with the 1930s music not being in this version of Mafia, the City of Lost Seven on GOG.com. The sad reality is licensing music is not cheap. Even for music from back in the 1930s, you still have to pay money to somebody in order to be allowed to have that music in a movie or TV show or a video game. Even a video game that's 15 years old. I personally think it's bullshit. In fact, I've been fighting my own little battle regarding uh, disputed music. Uh, it happened a few weeks ago with uh, two uh, Mafia episodes. First off, it was the uh, Whore, episode 7. And it was disputed by the same uh, claimant, uh, WMG, on behalf of PLG France. They did it for the whore, and they also did it for Omerta. Uh, two separate songs by Django Reinhardt. Now, Django Reinhardt is a Belgian-born, Romanian, French jazz guitarist and composer regarded as one of the greatest musicians of the 20th century. He was the first jazz talent to emerge from Europe and remains uh, the most significant so far. He was born in 1910, and he died in 1953. And this is where I kind of have an issue with this licensed music. If Reinhardt was still alive, then obviously I think he would be entitled to profit from music he composed, he wrote, and made. Just like anyone else when it comes to their content. However... Django Reinhardt passed away in 1953. And uh, that was easily over 50, 60 years ago. And chances are anyone involved with making the original music that you hear in any of the songs in the 1930s from Mafia, The City of Lost Heaven, they're probably long gone as well. In my honest opinion, I believe that that should be public. Like when it comes to like books, when it comes to art, when it comes to music. Because the artist, the creator, has long since passed on. Unfortunately, that's not the way the world works. And things that are, you know, like almost 100 years old, because the 1930s is almost 100 years away, right? It's like 2017 right now. And that means in, uh, what, 13 years from now, it'll be 2030, right? If we're still around. But the issue is, even in, say, 2030s, music from 100 years prior to the 2030s and the 1930s will still be licensed by an entity that had nothing to do with that music. They had nothing whatsoever to contribute to those songs that were written, performed by Django Reinhardt and various other artists, musicians, composers. Yet they're profiting financially from the works of brilliant minds long gone. And I personally think that's a crime. And that's why I have disputed the songs. Because I believe that, you know, it came with the game I purchased off of Amazon. The $70 I dropped for Mafia the City Lost Heaven. All the other episodes, which also have 1930s music, haven't been disputed by these various outlets. So... Most of the time, I would probably not, but, you know, sometimes you just got to make a stand. But in this case, I sympathize with GOG.com because it probably would cost them a few bucks, probably a lot of bucks. I don't know how much it would be to sell a licensed version of Mafia the City of Lost Heaven, which would include all those 1930 songs that most of us know and love. And it does add to the ambiance, the environment, the setting of Mafia, the City of Lost Heaven. But at the same time, even without that music, it's still a fantastic game. And there's still the score to go with it, as well as, you know, the, the scenes, the missions, the vehicles, the weapons of the time, the look, the feel, the vibe of Mafia, the City of Lost Heaven. But at the same time, it is unfortunate that the uh, licensing is an issue when it comes to a game like Mafia the City of Lost Heaven. And I really wish that this version did have that music from the 1930s. But unfortunately it doesn't. And what it really comes down to is do you really want to play this video game? Are you willing to drop $15 US 
to get it you know, via GOG.com for Windows, whether it's XP, Vista, 7, 8, or 10, or is the music itself going to be a deal breaker for you? And that's a decision each of you are going to have to make. Now, some of you may be like me when it comes to the disputes that you're just taking a stand because of the principle of the issue that, you know, these artists, these musicians who should rightfully benefit financially from the music are not here anymore to benefit. They're gone. They're dead. They're in the ground. Or their ashes are they're they're, they're on to a different you know spiritual plane of existence. If there is an afterlife, are they reincarnated? I don't know. Those are questions that we're not going to rant about today. But that being said, if you really want to play Mafia: The City of Lost Seven on PC, whether you've never played it before and you have watched my Let's Play and you thought, you know what, I would really love an opportunity to play this too. Or you played it a while back and you've been waiting patiently for either a remake, a remastered version, or just to get your hands on the original version of Mafia, I feel like that this is your, your best opportunity for the time being. But it is important to go into that purchase with your eyes open, realizing that even though you're getting the game for $15 US, it is unfortunately coming without that licensed music from the 1930s. But instead of crime families like the Salieri's and the Morellos, you have these companies like uh, WMG and others when it comes to licensed music going, you want our music in your game? You're gonna have to pay us money, see, for the licensing fee, or you're not gonna get those 1930s songs, see? <laughs> That's basically what these companies are. They're holding a gun at GOG, uh, 2K, Hangar 13, etc., saying, nope. Uh, you cannot have these licensed songs that were in the original version of Mafia the City of Lost Heaven without forking over some of that dough, that nice cash, right? Anyways, if you have a rant suggestion for a future episode, be it about Grand Theft Auto, Mafia, Red Dead Gaming in general, or YouTube, feel free and send it my way via the uh, comment section below, Twitter, or Facebook, all of which linked below in the description section. 